welcome to Neo Royal House of Pricey Cardboard. On today's episode of Commander Gameplay, I'm joined by three friends of the channel, Chen and Liz from Chain of Commander and the one and only BT Game Knight. It's always a pleasure to play with these folks and once and once the world stops ending, I would really like and plan an in-person game. BT will be playing Krenko, Mob Boss. This is a pretty standard goblin tribal list looking to get as many tokens into play and either win by combat or by burn with cards like Perforos or Throne of the God Pharaoh. Also I needed a quicker game to get back on schedule so Krenko is always a great pick for that. Chain will be playing Azizan Tamar. Once a Giret deck for a second, this Nihilist is looking to get a lot of lands into play and go wide with a lot of small tokens. It's running a good number of cards from the secret lair adding a bit of flavor, but we must stay on our guard with the tooth and nail sleeping somewhere in the deck. Liz will be playing her Azusa Lost But Seeking. Featured once before on the channel, this deck is looking to outramp our opponents, get a lot of landfall tokens like Chain and even run two finishers to actually attack with her forest. Also a constant mist, because Liz hates fun. Finally, I will be playing Giren, Conclave Exile, making the stable blueless and blackless. Sorry, Scarab God. Unlike my three opponents, I plan to go a little less wide, but my tokens will be a lot bigger. Pretty heavily based around the commander, I plan to get rhinos, get them bigger and get more rhinos. I can also burn my opponents with direct damage with Warstorm Surge and the amazing terror of the peaks. My opening hand contains Bastion Protector, Fervor, Xenagos the Reveler, Soaring, Cross and Verge, Command Beacon and a Clifftop Retreat. Pretty solid hand, I've got Ramp and Haze for Gyred. It's the core of what the deck wants in the early game. If I can find a draw engine like Elemental Bond, I will be golden. Liz's opening hand contains Genesis, Pain of Progress, Lotus Cobra, Seek the Horizon, Ark of Araska, and two basic forests. Talking about signature spell, Seek the Horizon is pretty much the one for Azusa. She has a ton of ramp with the Cobra and her commander, a draw with the Ark, and some removal with Bane of Progress. This feels like a solid hand. Chain's opening hand contains Samu, Voice of Descent, Clotis, God of Destiny, Sakura Tribelder, Dryad Arbor, Horizon Canopy, Wooded Bastion, and a snow-covered forest. It's an okay hand, an LT amount of lands and a ramp with Steve. Samut can be really strong with a tap effect or attack trigger, but you will need to draw into it. Last but not least, BT's opening hand contains Goblin Lackey, Beetleback Chief, Kikijiki Mirror Breaker, Smash, Simeon Spirit Guide, and two basic mountains. BT with his usual two land hand. I'm pretty sure he kept this one because of the goblin lackey. If the creature can connect once or twice, the beetle back with Kikijiki will create a lot of goblins very quickly. You only need to join to a third mana sword and Krinko will start to take over the table. Liz gets to start this match. And land drops a basic forest. Chain land drops Dryad Arbor. And I land drop a clifftop retreat. BT land drops a mountain and casts goblin lackey. Liz land drops a forest and cast the evil Lotus Cobra. Chen land drops Hooded Bastion and cast the very less evil Sakura Tribe Elder. I land drop a Plains and cast a Soul Ring. I then cast Fervor, passing. BT land drops a Mountain and cast Ruby Medallion. He goes to combat and sends the Lackey to me. It triggers and BT put Beetle Back Chief on the table. Entering the battlefield, he gets two Goblin tokens. With everyone ramping on 2, we head into turn 3. Liz land drops a forest and add a red to our mana pool with the Cobra. She then casts Seek the Horizon, searching for 3 basic forests. Going into combat, she sends the Cobra to me. At the end step, Chain cracks Steve for a mountain. Liz discards to incise a Genesis, which I'm sure saddens her greatly. Chain land drops Temple Garden tapped and casts Clotis, God of Destiny. I land drop Cross and Verge and cast Bastion Protector. BT land drops a mountain and head into combat. He sends the Lackey with a Goblin to Liz and the Beetle back with a 1 Goblin to Chain. Lackey triggers and BT put Kikijiki Mirror Breaker on the battlefield. BT then cast his commander, Krenko Mob Boss. Don't you stay aiming, you lazy gobstock! Just fire at them already! Fire! Liz land drops a forest and cast our commander, Azusa Lost But Seeking. Whenever I set my pack and rest my head, I am home. She then land drops a forest and Ark of Araska as our additional lands. 
gaining two more mana from the Cobra. She followed it up with Zendikar's Roy. Chen goes to his turn and at the beginning of his pre-combat main phase, Clotus exiles Genesis from Liz's graveyard. We each take two while Chen gains two. He then land drops a snow-covered forest and casts Karamitra, God of Harvest. I land drop a command beacon. And being a bit short on colors, I crack my Crescent Verge to get Canopy Vista and Cinder Glade on the battlefield. At the end step, BD taps Kikijiki to copy the Beetleback Chief. The copy ETBs and creates two tokens before being wrongfully sacrificed to the already passed beginning of end step. I'm gonna have the Beetleback Chief wave at Liz before it dies, the token. Then I'm gonna attack. It waved at me? It waved at you before it died. Okay. I, guess, I guess I wove back. It's because of your Herbalands, it's it was special. So. <laughs> it's where it waves menacingly. <laughs> <laughs> menacingly? <laughs> BT untaps and land drops a mountain. He casts Goblin War Chief. He then activates Kikijiki to copy the Beetleback Chief again. After that, he activates Krenko to make 12 additional Goblin tokens. We're in trouble! No, it's uh, a in danger. <laughs> Heading into combat, 2 Beetleback and 15 Goblin tokens go to chain. I'm going to pass a turn after that, and the Beetleback Chief, a new one, will once again wave at Liz, salute her lands, and pass. Menacing! <laughs> Did you spend all that time drawing that? No, maybe. Okay. I was going to go, what if I did? <laughs> Liz then drops three basic forests, gaining three floating mana and three elemental tokens. She activates her arc of Araska to draw a card and pass. Chain untaps and closes triggers. He exiles my Cross and Verge and adds a mana to his mana pool. He then land drops Horizon Canopy. He follow it up with a Descent upon the Sinful. He does not have Delirium. And at the end step, BT casts Smash, targeting my Soul Ring, as he is expecting my next turn to Earth. I react with Deflecting Swat, changing the target to his own medallion. I go to my turn and land drop a Scavenger Ground. I then cast my Commander, Gered, Conclave Exile. Harmony is no longer an option! Entering the battlefield, I create a Rhino token and go to combat. I send Gered to BT, while the original plus their populated Rhino go to Liz. BT land drops a Hall of the Bandit Lord and casts Soul Ring, passing. On her turn, Liz activates Ark of Eraska to draw a card. She then land drops a Forest, creating an Elemental, and pass. Chain goes to his turn and exiles Seek the Horizon with Clothes. He then casts a Rampant Growth for a basic forest. It's at this moment we realize the Dryad should be dead and adjust accordingly. After that, he casts Lifecraster Bestiary, passing. I cast Xanagos the Reveler. I then cast Anointed Procession. I go for the zero on Xanagos to create two Satyr tokens with haste. I then hop into combat, and Giret creates two more Rhinos tapped and attacking. All the Rhinos go to Liz, and Giret plus my Satyrs go to Chain. That's Ellie's face when she sees four Rhinos coming right out. Like BT casts Goblin Rubble Master. Going to combat, BT makes a Goblin token, but he does not attack. Liz lands drops a forest and creates an elemental. She activates the arc again to draw a card. She then recasts her commander and land drops two more forests, netting two more elementals. Chain scries at the upkeep, or as he says it, screes. Clotus exiles BT Medallion, burning us. He then land drops a Temple of Plenty, screes again. After that, he casts Shalai, Voice of Plenty, being the green to draw from the bestiary. He then fetches a savanna to his board from Karametra. Is anybody turned on yet? No? No, nobody's turned on on the You're super close. Let me tell you, just a couple more odd brushes to my side and I'll be there. Um... <laughs> yeah, I was just imagining Shane saying like, is anybody else turned on right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop a forest and plus one Xenagos to add seven red mana to my mana pool. I cast Gered Village Rents with X equaling 12. 
I destroy 4 elementals on Liz's side and 3 goblins on BT's side. I get 7 populate triggers but because of my enchantment I get 14 AST rhinos. We do some quick math and determine I have enough to take out the table and my opponents give me the game. Looking back at this game, when you sit down against a Krenko, you expect the game to go faster than usual. BT had a really good start with his lackey cheating goblins into play and his medallion getting Krenko a turn early. But as all aggro players know, the board wives are the biggest enemy of all. Chain had a slower game plan, looking to ramp out a lot of lands and then start to make tokens. We'll try and get Azazen back on the channel to see more of what the deck can do. Liz had a lot of mana, but sadly that's basically all she had. She got a couple of tokens from the Royal, but on a 7 turns game, having to draw an additional card and pass is less than optimal. And finally, I had a pretty explosive finisher with Gered. I really like the fact that Gered Belligerence is like a signature spell from my commander. Sometimes it's not the best when there's no token on the table, especially at sorcery speed, but sometimes it just wins the game with a lot of flavor. My lack of color delayed me just enough in the early turn so that my commander dodged the board wipes. If I got my creatures exiled, I would have needed at least one more turn. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And thank you to Chain, Liz and BT for this really fun game. I have another match from this session that, that I will edit eventually, so make sure to subscribe and join the house of Pricey Cardboard. See you soon and take care. I just really, really hate Fire... What is Phyrexia anyway? It sounds like a really shitty place with a lot of goo and a lot of shit and a lot of demons and I don't know, it just sounds like a miserable place to this whole cob... <laughs> uh, anyway...